president of Costa Rica called me on Wednesday, I think, Wednesday afternoon, to acquaint me with the situation. Said it was a humanitarian crisis and asked whether Belize would consider allowing the use of our facilities for transit purposes. Said he was asking me and he was asking Guatemala. As I understood it, the deal would be that however many we thought we could handle, if we agreed, uh, would come, land at the PGIA in planes that the International Organization for Migration would pay for, would get on to buses that, is it International Organization for Migration or IOM or I, or I, uh, yes, that they would also pay for. The Mexicans would give us an assurance that uh, they would be immediately processed at the border with Chetumal and then allowed to enter into Mexico for purposes of transit ultimately to the U.S. I said to him that as a matter of courtesy and, um, and, and fairness, um, uh, he should send something in writing spelling out the details of the proposal and what the Mexicans, what we could expect from the Mexicans, what we could expect from IOM, uh, and that I would raise the matter in cabinet on Tuesday uh, after we got this paper and after we would have done some pre preliminary checking with the Mexicans, with the Cubans. I needed to know how the Cuban government feels about all this. I did ask him that and he did say, no, the Cubans give these people exit visas, so it's not a problem. Um, he said that he would send the documentation of his proposal and that he would also ask his foreign minister uh, to speak to Foreign Minister Ellington uh, so that additional details that he might not have been able to furnish me immediately could be provided. The Foreign Minister of Costa Rica has, as I understand it, indicated that he does mean to, has alerted foreign affairs that at some stage he will be seeking to get in touch with our Foreign Minister, but it has not yet happened. And I have not seen any documentation. Today is Friday. Uh, if there is nothing to take uh, to Cabinet, that's going to be the end of it because that's the last Cabinet meeting for the year.